usually. So a lot of people ask me, where did this come from? Just to try to give a little context. Where did your app come from? Where did the idea come from? And what people don't always know about me is I was where you are for 20 years, sitting there, in there building my businesses over time. And in 2007, I was with a really good company, having a great time, making great money, had a group about the size here around the country, and I had a smartphone. I had a little Motorola Q. Most of you might not remember that thing. And I go, and I was talking to my, my business partner, my upline, I said, you know, Mike, there's something about this. We're going to do something big with this in this industry. And he goes, like what? And I said, no, I said, we can do it. I said, we're having trouble. We always want to duplicate, right? We want to push deeper and deeper. We couldn't get past five, six, seven levels. We were at a unit level at the time. And um, he said, well, yeah, I'll take that. And so with my background in computer science and in sales and in this industry, over the next four years, we developed what we wanted to do with a smartphone. And the smartphone had to start catching up with what we wanted to do, you know, because sometimes it couldn't do it. So that's how we came about with the app and the team and what you see today. The first version, you didn't want to see that. Okay, that was back in 2012. But this is what we have today. So I want to tell you that from recruiting over close to 500 customers into my business, over 100 reps, this is where it goes to and what I've learned in business from a lot of amazing leaders. I won't take credit for what I learned. It came from people who were out there doing it, making it happen, okay? So this is where it came from. So let's go ahead and go through that. Um, and this is going to be more of a, almost a training, if you will, okay? Because I want you to understand how we use the app more so than is a pretty tool, right? So if you have your app, you go, you're allowed to have it open because I'll probably direct you because it's not a live demo. I'll direct you to it back and forth so you can open it up. So for the people that are new, the app has three basic sections to it, okay? Down below are what we call our core marketing features, and you'll see why they're called that, okay? In the middle is what we call our slider. You'll see brand new banners rotating across. What you're going to see coming is all kinds of event announcements and links to sign up and all kinds of things that are going through there. Maybe even some recognition one day. Wouldn't that be cool to see your face on the app or in the new rank? That would be very cool. And then on the upper left is the menu. And that's really for administrative functions, if you will, not necessarily recruiting functions. Because if anybody asks you, what is this? This isn't a recruiting app. We're about building businesses here, okay? So that's what I want to give you a brief overview. So let's get into it a little bit. If you hit the share button, well, I'm sorry, in the upper left, this is your slide menu, okay? And if you don't know, whenever you have a problem, see that contact button at the very bottom? Make sure you hit it and send us a ticket, okay? And our team will try to get back to you as quick as we can and help you through anything that's app-related, okay? So that's our tech support there. And everything else is just information. But what's really nice is when you want to add somebody manually, you don't want to just send a link. You want to sign somebody up right away. That's what Add Distributor at Customers for, okay? So make sure you know that that content is in the upper left menu. Last, training. There's a five-minute training video in there. If you're not using the app or maybe you're struggling, go under there. Do watch the five-minute training video. It's only five minutes. It wasn't 20. So we try to give you a brief overview on how to get started with the app, okay? So that's the menu. So this is where the app came from. Everybody goes, well, what's it supposed to do? Technology by itself is just, it's just a tool. It's not there to, you know, uh, just sit there in China. You need to know its purpose, its context. And this is the context of the app. See, this is what we used to do before we had apps, right? We used to have to talk to somebody and keep their interest, right? We had to figure out who's interested and who's not. And if they weren't interested, back in my day, what we did all the time was three-way calls. Connect people, show it's a team effort, talk to another team member, member and get them invited to some type of an event, right? To see more material. Nowadays, the event might just be the video, okay? That's how things have changed. But it might be a private meeting, a one-on-one -on -one at Starbucks or somewhere you want to go meet with, right? And so, and then what would you do? You show them the information at the event. Again, it could be a five-minute video. And then they're going to make a decision on whether to enroll or not, right? So these are the five steps. And sometimes people compress these into one. Okay, we're really excited. But these are the steps that you're generally trying to build your business upon. And this is something I was taught from the very beginning. I mean, since the early 90s, this is what we do. So the app 
What is the app trying to do? It's trying to help you do those five steps easier, faster, and more fun. Okay? Because we all know picking up the phone out of the blue with no texting ability and having to make a conversation out of nothing when you haven't talked to somebody in two and a half months, that wasn't easy back then. Okay? Now you get to send a text, quick email, maybe a Facebook messenger message, right? So that's why it's easier than the old days. So we're going to try to help you and show you how this makes sense with the app, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, this is the share button. So if everybody has their app open and you want to hit the share button, this is our interactive media grid. It was formed using Netflix inspired logic. You can scroll up and down with your finger, left, right, and you see it, okay? Now what's nice is you have by country, by language. And what this allows you to do is select the country and language of your prospect, send content, right? If you're running your phone in English, you're going to default to English. But if you're running your phone in Spanish, this is going to default to USA and maybe Spanish. Okay, so things like that. So keep in mind that's how the grid is put out. Second, it's actually stacked into the sequences of recruiting. Peak interest, invite exposed. Follow up, help sort, right? Then we get down past that, you can present, and then you can enrollment link. So that's how this whole thing is set up so you can flow from top to bottom with your content, with your prospect, okay? So what's kind of neat? How'd you guys, you guys love the video, right? Wow. There's another one. Well, see down there in the highlight? That's where they are. They're in your app as of right now for you to share. Try not to do that right now. But they're already in there. They're right next to um, the join us. So they'll have the peak, the little 37 second one, which is awesome. The one you just saw and then join us left to right. And you can just expose right across and introducing what Rain has to offer, which frankly is amazing. You truly are a category leader here. So that's the media grid and how you use it. It's really where everything happens, okay? Let's keep going. Now, when you go to send content from the media grid, everybody always asks, how do I put my people in? Your people are in your address book, okay? And so you add people to your contact management system through the action of sharing. You know, I remember when I got started, they say, make a list, you know? And I'd spend maybe a week trying to make a list of 10 people. You know, we procrastinate, we, we do whatever. Now we don't have that problem. We immediately going into sharing. So the app is designed for immediate sharing activity. You new person gets into business, they can go to the app store, download, and share their top five people inside what three minutes and have their business rolling. Two, three people watch something, you get immediately notified, right? Then you follow up by phone, set a time, get together, and your business is moving. That's the way the app is supposed to be used to move quickly, okay? So that's why we built it that way. But here's what's nice is you can share worldwide in any way you want here. Because not everybody has this technology. We do here at Rain, okay? So if you have Facebook Messenger installed on your phone, or Line, or WeChat, or Kakao, those are the four major chat apps. Um, what's that? And what's that? Are five major chat apps that encompass the entire world. If you have them installed, the option appears. If you don't have them, like you just have Facebook Messenger on your phone, well, then you'll see text, emails, Facebook Messenger, and that's it, right? People ask, the emails, what's the difference? Well, we keep it in there because some people just want to use our computer to send the email. That's what default is. But what I'd recommend is if you have an iPhone or an Android, use your email with your iPhone and your Android. It's just easier, okay? And the last thing I'm going to say is as you're sharing across, okay, you hit the share button, you see the sample messages, okay, they're there for you to review. No, you can change these texts and emails yourself prior to sending they're only written for you in case you just don't have a gift of gab or not sure what to say. So therefore, you feel free to change them, but let's not be too long-winded in our messaging because the idea is to let the video, the content, professional content, do the talking for you. That's duplicatable, right? right? You know, what you type in there might be amazing and you may have skills, but the person you're recruiting may not. So what you're doing may not be duplicatable. So the idea is to have simple messaging that gets them to do what? Click, watch the content, and then let's go to the next step. So yes, you can change them, but I wanted you to know that. 
Now, on your Facebook Messenger, everybody asks, how does that work? Basically, if you select Facebook Messenger, it pulls up the Messenger app, and you hold your finger in it down, and it pastes whatever the text was right in. Can you, make, you can change it again. But be careful when you're changing, because the links down at the bottom where the video and everything is, they're coded to you. So that you get the alerts when they're watching it. You get everything. You get the credit. You get everything. So if you're going to mess with the message, I'm all for it. Just watch out on that bottom area, okay, for everybody who's there. So this is all the options. The nice thing is if you have prospects in Central and South America, they love using WhatsApp. I have a company that's actually based out of that in South America. 72% of all the messages are from WhatsApp. It shows you how much they use WhatsApp. So download WhatsApp if you want to recruit overseas, right, in that direction. Um, Asia likes Line, WeChat, and Kakao. Kakao is mostly Korea. Line is, is pretty much all of Asia except for China. China tends to like WeChat. So that's why they're in there, if you want to know, because you guys are a global company, and your technology needs to support you to recruit globally, right? Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. So that's why they're all there, but they only show up if you have them on your phone. And if you do, you get them all. Okay. I took a lot of time because I want you to understand how that really works. Okay. This is what you see when you go and hit your prospect button. Okay. If you hit your prospect button, this allows you to go ahead and work with your prospect. So as you send stuff out, these people appear in your prospect list, right? And this is where the contact management occurs. And what you've got there is filtering statuses. They all come in as warm with the coffee cup. Then you, as you recruit, can change them, okay? Now, there's a new status down there in purple. I just want you to know when you see it, like, what's this for? Well, down the road, we're going to talk about it, we have the ability for lead capture page capability. Where if there's going to be getting a transition, right, into cold marketing possibly, and you want to do a little lead capture, when they're captured on these different things, they're going to load in this new prospect so that you can then get alerted with a message and alert, and you'll see that you have new, and you can filter by right, all of those uh, what I call cold marketing. So we're a warm marketing platform where you need to work your team and your prospects properly and really do it the right way. But eventually, if you're going to you know, build, 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 you're going to start seeing lukewarm. You're going to start doing things. So that's a new status that's going to come. The really thing I like, I was always part-time in this business. So I was always busy with a new software adventure or whatever I was doing during my full-time job. But at night, I needed to get back busy, right? And I couldn't remember who I talked to, who I didn't send something to. That's what recent activity is. The recent activity sort over here allows it to stack everybody from top to bottom who the most recent person was that interacted with the content or that you sent to. It ranks them both. So that way, if you really want to know where you should apply your energies, you come out of work one day, you hit the button, you sort, and it'll pretty much tell you who you, know, you should be working. And that's where you might want to change the status from warm to hot to keep you focused on your, your best leads. Does that make sense a little bit for everybody? Because that's kind of how it works. So you filter over there, you sort over here, and they work together. You can actually filter by hot and then go recent activity and it'll rank them as well. So it's a very sophisticated tool. We try to make it easy to use though, okay? So there's a couple other things going on. So let's get past that. Let's talk about this real quick. A couple things that everybody likes to see is that at a glance, you can see what the last thing happened with your prospects. You don't have to open them up, you know, and blow them up. So up top, you get an example. Oh, last thing happened with uh, Bruce up there, you sent the video. Over here, we've got a red follow-up there. If you don't see the follow-up, you can just tap on it without going anywhere and reset the follow-up just like that. That's what that means. You can just tap them. You don't have to go inside the, the system, set a new follow-up. And down here, you notice you don't have to go inside to change status. You can just tap on it right there. It'll pull it up and you can change status right there. So you, there's a lot of functions that don't require you to go deep inside the prospect details, okay? And this is all contact management going on underneath the prospect button. Okay, this is kind of nice. So when you want to get deep into the prospect, you just hit the triple buttons there, right? You hit the triple, it blows this up. You're going to see something really new here coming that I really want you to see and I think you're going to really like, okay? Because it took a lot of time building before you launched it. So right here, as you can see with the push of a button, 
company Stark here, I happen to have his phone number, his email, and uh, his text. I can tap one button and get to him. You don't have to go find him in your address book. Okay, the system remembers. So if you hit the text icon, it'll immediately call up a new text. Down here, the share content button. What's nice about that is you don't have to go out of the app and back in. It'll take you right to the media grid. Okay? And if you are prospecting that prospect in Spanish, let's say, it'll take you to the Spanish version of the media grid. The app remembers by prospect what you're trying to do. So it can help you move quickly, okay? And then down here, prospect details. I'm going to show you that. You can delete and you can cancel. So it's a very good function. It's quick and fast. But let's go to the next one. This is what we love. This is brand new, okay? So this over on the left is your full blown up prospect detail screen, okay? And what you can do again in the upper left is you can one touch call and text, no problem email. You can change status in the upper right over there, tap it. You can go right to the media grid with a share. So you can do all these functions quickly. But down here is your personal information in your history. So you can see now you have a new button called Add History because when you're part-time in the business again, you've got to remember what you did last. So now, you get to go ahead and annotate your own history this way. So you can add that if you followed up and left a voicemail, you tap it, hit OK, and it adds it right into your history in chronological order as you do it, OK? So, this is like a full blood on CRM right in your own hand, OK? That's what it's going on. One day we'll find a way to... If you text them without remembering, we'll enter it for you anyway. So we're not quite there yet, okay? We don't want to really dive into your personal stuff. So right here, though, you can use all these down here, deliver or send a sample. We know we love doing sampling. It works, okay? Up here, you met with the prospect. So all these, we took, unfortunately, two days trying to make sure we had every possible condition in the recruiting process, and I'm sure we missed some. So feel free to tell us what we missed, okay? But that is a cool feature that we're really proud of and it's live in your app right now, okay? Okay, this is the last thing. Part of managing your prospects is you share, your contact managing, but see, you always want to know, sometimes you can sort with the most recent activity, but sometimes there's messages from corporate that you might have missed, right? You had your phone off at work or something. So this is the alerts button. In the lower right on the front, you tap. But this is how you can manage your alerts. The blue alerts are ones you have not read. Ones without blue means you've already read them. It's a real simple process. But if you hit the edit button in the upper right, okay, you get all these right here. Select all of our is red. So it's just some more tools for you to get rid of alerts that might be annoying. You don't need them anymore. You can trash them. Um, at the top, the filter by is um, unread, Red, it's all red and unread, so you can quickly do that. I don't have it open, but that's where the filter is. So basically, your tools for managing is a flow through sharing under the share button, managing under the prospect button, and using alerts to make sure you don't miss stuff. So that's your flow as you go through the app and try to move through your five steps of recruiting people, okay? So I want to make sure everybody really understood that's how it's designed, and that's why we designed it that way, okay? We're getting to the end here. Future tech, we're trying to do something cool here. You guys have the best branding in the business. I really love it, so it's cool. So coming soon, let's talk about a couple things. Personalization, gamification, and group text. They're all going, what does that mean? Okay, app personalization. Very soon, you're gonna be able to go through as you load your app, and if you have it, if you're already on the app, don't worry, you're gonna get the opportunity. But if someone comes into the app for the first time, there's going to be like a, like a personalization or onboarding where you're going to be able to do things and select things about what's important to you so that you can make the app a little more of your own. So I think you're really going to love that. You're going to see some beautiful slides come across. You're going to be able to click on different things and really set the up, app up so the corporate can even communicate to you based on what you're interested in and what you're trying to build in your business. And that's, that's a huge deal to have corporate know what you are specifically be interested in doing, and then they can communicate with you based on the settings you have in your app. It's going to be very, very sophisticated, and then you're going to love. And this was actually an idea by Daniel and Rain, so we're incorporating it just for you guys, and I think you're going to love what happens there, okay? Gamification. <laughs> okay, sometimes the business can be a little bit hard, right? being honest here. We get a little struggles, okay? So we're always trying to make it fun and easy to do this. 
nothing's easy. Nobody knows, anybody who's built a solid income as business knows it was never easy, okay? That's not why we're here for easy. We're here to improve lives. And by that, we go ahead and, you know, have satisfaction in, in different business building. But let's make it a little more fun. So what's coming based on a lot of things that you're seeing that are new, like those uh, CRM settings where you can record that you followed up? Well, that's going to go into the gamification to help you understand so you can track your own progress right. as you go through your recruiting and maybe even see, generically, how you're comparing to other people in the follow-up process so you can start to go ahead and improve and seek help and training, talk with your leaders and go, wow, I, I seem to be a little low here. How can I be better at this? And so gamification isn't just about fun. It's about helping you build your business. So we're going to make it a little more fun. So you're going to see things coming in the app over time with all these new tools that as you're using it properly and you're seeing your success, you're, we're going to show you visually how well your recruiting process is going. Does that make sense for everybody? And it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you love that. Okay? And the last thing I want to talk about um, with future tech is group text communication. We've, over the years, and we have tens of thousands of users, over the years, we've been asked, wow, I wish I could just communicate directly to just my customers in a group. Or I wish I had a new announcement made. Or I wish I could communicate to my immediate people that I've signed up in a business about something, right? And so there's that need, but it's not easy. And if you use your cell phone with an MMS text, everybody sees it, and all of a sudden we got a discussion that, frankly, you're wondering whether you should have sent it in the first place, right? <laughs> we all get that, okay. So what we wanted to do is design something that you could do this, but people could only reply individually to you and not see anybody else in the group. Okay? It's in beta testing right now. We built it. We're playing with it. We're trying to break it. That's what we do for a living. You know, break, 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 fix, fix, fix. That's how we work, right? So we're going to have that. So as we do it, we'll, we'll be integrating with corporate and what they want to do with it, how they want to implement it to make sure that it's the best possible tool. So we don't do anything real quick because we're very deliberate with the fine marketing team and the leadership and Rain to make sure that as we bring things in, it's tested and it works just right. The other thing we have coming is we're going to have extra languages. You know we're fully language capable, but what you're going to see is we just added, you'll see it in your app here pretty soon, we added every country in the entire world is in there now, okay? Yeah. Okay. So these are all the different things that I wanted you to see that we're doing and really understand why the app was designed the way it was from somebody who's actually been there had to go through the difficulty of sometimes of recruiting, right, and sharing. So let's go ahead and recap here. So basically, this is your tool. You know how to use it. You got the five steps. I'm going to go through it a little bit here and make sure we're good. But you got the five steps that you want to work through. The core recruiting that you share, that's peaking interest. What you receive back. Did they watch the video? Did they not? Define your follow-up, right? If they don't watch anything, just put them on a two-week callback and start over, right? But if they watch something, I don't care if it's 20% or 80%. Yeah, we, we like to get the 80 percenters, don't we? But it doesn't always happen that way. You get interrupted. It's not you. It's their life. It's busy. It's timing, right? So what you want to do is go ahead and follow up with them anyways. Use your new tool that you followed up and feel good about it. Make sure you keep your reminder set. We've got another tool coming about helping you keep your reminders. But get in the habit of that when you get a reminder in, you either follow up immediately with the push button because it has a cell phone, or you always set a new reminder. Don't ever just let it go. <laughs> always do one or the other, and that way your CRM and your gamification tracking will all make sense and show that you're doing the business the right way, okay? So make sure you do that. But that's your sorting. That's how you sort through interaction and timing. And then, of course, if you go ahead and get interested in the, in the business opportunity, you want a three-way call, get them to an event of some sort, and go ahead and sign them up, okay? And that's really how the flow of the app works. And anything you guys ever want in it, the contact button and the admin, we're here for you, okay? We want to make sure we're helping you, but we love new ideas all the time. So with that, I want to say thank you, and I hope it was great for you. And I look forward to